baby and welcome back everybody welcome back here to regrowth where we are going to regrow the world oh my god so guys you may notice i have a little bit of a i got a black shirt on um i, I think it's just black leather dye i got it off of a fallen knight he was he was he was lucky enough or i was lucky enough to get this off of him so i got myself a little black shirt i look i feel so emo I wish it had like a weird band's name or something on it, like Danzig or something like that. But anyway, um, so to get, today, guys, we're, to get started, we are going to clear out this whole area here. I've been waiting to do this for a little bit. I actually should take a, a bite of bread real quick, but oop, that's not how you do it. Let's take a quick bite of bread here so we're all fed up. And yeah, I put a chest here. We're going to take all this down. We're going to use this part underground to maybe as kind of a, a little storage area but we're gonna move all these crops somewhere else and we're gonna get a little bit more organized with our crops so here we go oh wait oh my god mandrakes i forgot about those Die. oh dear god why are they so awful why did they make something so awful all right i think they're all dead are you dead i do believe so all right we can pick this all up now I was thinking it would pick up the crops too, but that does not seem to be the case. All right, we're just gonna shove everything in here for now. We will, we're gonna organize this a little better in a minute. Basically, I just want the seeds that got out of here. Um, hopefully I got a few seeds of things. Oh good, there's some snowbell seeds which is what I wanted, and we're getting different kinds of sugarcane seeds. We're going to have to analyze all of these and pick the best ones to start kind of refining. We're going to use this uh, seed analyzer to refine these seeds a little bit, or at least find the, the best one to take over to the new area. So yeah, guys, I'm going to refine, not refine, I'm going to analyze all these seeds and stuff that we dropped here and pick all of this crap up too. And yeah, we're going to get started on a little bit of agri-craft getting better croppage, if, if that is even a thing. So we'll be right back, guys. I've got to do a little bit of dirty work here. Okay, guys, we are back, and I have analyzed all of my seeds, and we are going to take the best and brightest over to our new little growing area. If I do a quick little organize on this, maybe I can get better seeds. So it looks like my best carrot seed is a 3-2. Is a 2-3-2. You're coming with me, carrot seed. Um, let's see what our best regular seed is. Not a lot of good regular seeds. So it looks like this one is our best regular seed. Um, let's see your pumpkin. I'm not expecting any really good melon ones, so we'll take that one. Um, let's see here. We've got a lot of different belladonna ones. But they all kind of suck equally. This one looks like the best to me. You're coming with me. Uh, let's see here. Let's pick Mandrake real quick. Da -da -da. No really good snowbell seeds. I did not get any water artichoke seeds. I wonder, and I haven't checked yet, but let's see if we can turn this into a water artichoke seed. No, I don't know how I get a water artichoke seed. I must have screwed that up somehow. That is a darn shame. What is this? That's a stick. Darn. Well, we might have to rebreed that, or can I just plant it on the ground? I'm not sure. Anyway, maybe I just overlooked it. Let's be let's be optimistic and hope that I overlooked it. No, definitely didn't overlook it. I, I just got screwed out of that somehow. Okay, back to what I was doing. What is our best? What is our best sugarcane seed? I see a couple here with fives and fours. This one's looking the best. Um, yeah, and that seems to be the best one. You come with me. So we've got a good amount of crappages here. Where's our best pumpkin seed? I don't think I took pumpkins over. We want these to be the best, so we're going to start mutating them. And I think I've got a kind of a good way to do it. So let's take these guys. Oh, it's nighttime. Let's take a sleep. Hopefully not too many monsters are over by my new gardening area that I just created. But let's take them over here and get a few of them started. All right, let's look around for danger. So you may see here, I made a little stairway. Um, I have no real idea why I made a stairway up there. I got tired of jumping up the hill, I think. So I got a little stairway I made there. Um, the Petania area from last time is doing well, getting lots of mana. Uh, as you can see, I set up a little uh, infinite water system here to feed the hydrangeas. So they are doing good. But up here, 
I made a little garden area. I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with it. It's cute, and I'm using these different, uh, these different woods. There's a bunch of spiders over there, but we're just gonna let them do their thing. So what I want to do, and I actually need to dig one of these up. Let's dig this row up, and we're gonna replace it with sand. So this will be our little sand area, and this will be where we plant our sugarcane. We're gonna plant our best sugarcane seed here. Wait, where'd it go? Man, things keep jumping around in my inventory. Plant my best sugarcane seed there. And then you plant these, or you put the double sticks when you want something to mutate into it. Or if you want a better version of this seed to be, to be created here. So when this grows up to be big and tall, if I have some bone meal, that would actually be helpful. Let's go grab some bone meal real quick and see if we can get this process caught on camera. Because it does take a while for the plants to grow. Let's see here. Here's a bunch of bone meal. And I got a bunch of bones. So I don't think I have to worry about bone meal, really. You can always kill more skellies. It's not a real problem. I really am digging the way this area is turning out. It's starting to look really nice. And, you know, every episode, in between episodes, I try to expand my grass area. So eventually, I want, I want like a whole dang area of grass. Does this work on this stuff? It does. Very good. All right, so eventually this will spread to this one, and then that that improved seed will spread to this one, and so on and so on and so on, and eventually we'll have the biggest and best. Um... Oh, you can see it through Wayla. We can actually check the progress through Wayla of the thing. So what that means though is I can't put anything right here because it might accidentally mutate into there. So we'll put our next crop right here, and then we'll do the double the double whammies on the sticks and oop, so like that and I honestly think I gave myself too much linear space I could actually double up on some of these that are farther progressed so we'll put our pumpkins here and I basically am just trying to get the best seeds I can get um, you know this this row is kind of wasted but we're gonna put something here and we'll just keep an eye on it we'll put snowbell we're gonna put snowbell right there um, and then we've got a row here, and then we've gotten one other row, and that's about all we can put in this one. Or we could double up, like we said. So let's maybe go... Yeah, we're gonna double up. So right there, we'll leave a space, and then here, we'll put one, and I totally missed the right row. Boom. Double. 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 And that way there's a nice little space there, so we could plant two seeds here. We'll do a melon. And allow it to fully mutate into the best melon we could get and then we'll put just regular seeds there and we could do the exact same thing here we are running low on sticks or crops as they were so we'll do that double 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 and i think that's it and then double double ah double double and double cool and we've got two seeds left. That actually works out pretty good. We'll put our belladonna there, and we'll take our carrot seeds there. And you know, eventually I need to go back and grab the mandrake seeds. I forgot those, and we'll put these. We'll put the mandrakes here. You know, I'm not too worried about mandrakes. We could also do one here as well and double up on it. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. We'll just set it up, and we'll come back later and fix that. But we need to get on with some more quests today because I would like to create more stuff. And thanks. Let's see if we can get any of this going this episode. So I'll go ahead and get these guys to fruition. Very good. Here we go. Melons are done. Carrots are done. And they should... Oh, we've already got one here. This seed has not yet been analyzed, but it should be theoretically better than this seed in some way. In some way, it'll do it. So basically, it'll get down to the very end, and then we'll go back the other way. So yeah, there's our little garden area. Got that done. I think it looks pretty cool. And I put some put some stuff out here so that we can uh, basically just store our seeds and our stuff out here. Hopefully there's no danger around. But let's get back to uh, maybe completing some quests and getting some more stuff done. We're going to head back to our little cute area over here. I just want to do it in safety so a wolf doesn't eat me alive. Oh my god! There's a creeper in there. 
My god, that scared the crap out of me. I'm just gonna leave him in there and let him despawn. That scared- I guess that I need to put a light in there, but they can't get through these- these carpenters' doors. Their butts are too big. Do you hear that? Your butt's too big. Anyway, you stay in there. My god, that scared the crap out of me. I came in here to be safe! And there's a creeper in there. Alright, let's turn in some of these quests. One of them I'm actually pretty excited about. Holy moly. Alright. Open. How do I open? Like that. I want to turn in this one. The Spelunking Fanatic one. So, little lies underground for you, except scary monsters and death. Why would you ever go down there? So, detection task. Detection task. So, I need to get this one. And there's some sort of other one here. Oh, I think it needs just more seeds. Let's grab that. Alright, detection task, 100%. Claim reward, and we'll get six more essence berry bushes. We'll get some iron gear and something called a force of habit. Not positive what to do with that. We can finally take this uh, emo shirt off and we can turn into a toy robot. I do not like the armor. I, I really need to get a uh, texture pack that makes this armor look better. This, uh, this just looks like you're wearing aluminum foil, and I've never been a fan of it. It's like I'm pretending to be a robot for Halloween or something like that. But anyway, that's good. Um, let's see here. Equipped in the title slot, it goes with a mod called Traveler's Gear. And somebody, I think Daniel in the comments, told me to click on this book. And it goes somewhere in a title slot. This looks like the right thing. Shift right click to link this in chat. I don't know what that means, but I think I put it in there. And I don't know what this does, but it does something. Not a dang clue. But anyway, I got a little force of habit. And look at this. I could do a little spin for you guys. You guys could check out the goods. <laughs> anyway, let's get back to doing some stupid quests here. All right, so we got that done. Actually, I think we may have done this one. Can I do this? Killing tat. Killed, oh, I killed some Ender Minis. I didn't actually kill any actual Ender Men. So I did kill an Ender Mini. I got an Ender Pearl and some sort of Ender Fragment garbage. But I did kill one, so I'm very happy I have an Ender Pearl. That will probably need to be needed later. So we can actually continue on with some more quests here. This one makes a composter. I'm not going to read this. You guys can read that on your own. I'm sure it's beautiful text. But blah, blah, blah. Basically, we need something to create garden soil, and this is going to help us do it. So hopefully, if I look up composter in here, any eye won't crash on me. There we go. I didn't crash. So we need slabs and sticks. Easily made. Um, so let's get to it. Just need to make a few slabs. We're only going to make six. And something like that. And something like that that very good compost pile we did it so i guess i use this i'm just going to stick it right here for now to turn things into compost i wonder if i can turn this zombie flesh into compost yeah i can cool but i have a lot more other stuff that i don't need i've got like piles of wheat i've got tons of saplings i've got a ton of carrots i don't know if i want to throw all my carrots in there but i've got lots of stuff that i could compost we could throw these belladonna seeds in there Lots of stuff to compost, so we could shove all of this in there and just get tons of stuff. So good. Very good. Um, we've got... Oh, we need to put these essence berries up, up for now. I will... I will put them up, but there is a creeper in there. No, don't blow up! Jerk. Jeez. Okay. Yeah, look at that. It's steaming. Oh my god, this compost pile probably smells terrible. Why'd I put it right next to my bed? That is a terrible idea. This thing is probably sticking up the place. So are we going to get any anytime soon? So we finally got a compost. I'm just going to put it in my inventory like that means something. And we're going to go on with another quest. Reward? Crafting task. Oh, we need to make a garden soil too. And I'm pretty sure that is just a compost and a soil. Boom. All right, we did that. Let's get the our rich reward of compost. Even more delicious, meaty compost. <laughs> I guess we're going to need this for the magical plants, I do believe. Um, looking for one more piece of dirt. We're going to take this whole stack here. And we'll get ourselves an even 17. A very odd, actually. 17 
Garden dirt. All right, next quest, shall we? Um, Baxies, and looks like we've got one for mycelium. Um, let's see here. Some other crops require special soils of their own, akin to sugarcane, requiring sand essence. Sand essence crops require garden soil. Gotcha. So I need to make something called an infestation spore, and I'll get some mycelium and some red mushroom stuff. So I guess I need to look that up. I don't know what it takes to make an infestation spore, but let's see. Oh, I take a mushroom and I throw it in a mana pool. I've got mushrooms. I've been finding mushrooms in caves and I, I could only guess that that's what they're used for. Oh, it's nighttime again. Hold on, let's go to sleep. Oh no, there's monsters nearby. It's this guy. All right, let's see if we can kill this guy without ruining our life. It's a line of sight thing with creepers, right? Alright, he can't get me. Line of sight. Line of sight. Line of sight. Alright, we almost got him. There we go. Let's light up this room. For some reason, I thought that these um, essence berry bushes would not grow in light, high light levels, but now I've created a danger zone for myself, so that is not good. Okay, so can I sleep now? Ah, it, it, the game will let you sleep if there's not a creeper in your closet. If there is a creeper in your closet, watch out. All right, let's get out here. Hopefully there's no baddies. I think everything's fine. And we'll throw this mushroom in there. Beautiful, we got an infestation spore. So I think we can turn in this quest. Let's see here, rewards, claim reward. We did it, mom. All right, so I guess I, what I could do with these, right? And I'm actually going to keep this dirt down here. Actually, I was planning on turning this into a storage room of sorts, so we won't do this here. We'll do this somewhere else. But it would be nice to actually test it out, so let's let's test this out. Hold on. Let's put one mycelium there, and let's try the crops on it. I haven't tried the crops on mycelium ever. We've got red mushroom spores. So, boop. Oh, cool. So that's how you do it. Let's grab some red mushrooms. Okay. And if I put red mushrooms on here, will it plant? Will you plant? I don't think so. Maybe the light level is too high? That's probably it. But anyway, we got that. I don't... I guess I've ruined this now, right? Because you can't pick it back up. Okay, we have ruined mycelium. We will figure this out later. I'm sure it just needs a dark place to do its business in. So we got some red mushroom spores. We didn't try planting. Hold on. We're gonna waste one more piece of mycelium, but I'm pretty sure I can make mycelium with the with the infestation spore thing that I just got. So let's give this a try. Hold on. Buh. And bah. There we go. All right, cool. So that did work. Let's make some, let's put two more down. I'm gonna put two more down and I'm gonna do that little crappie thing that I'm doing outside. The little extra crappie thing. Okay, boom, boom, and crappages, crappages. Very good. So cool. That's looking good. That's doing its thing. Should we check the crops outside? I'm gonna just take a quick peek over here and see how the progress is on my my crops out here. Oh, we've got snowbills. They've expanded one. These, those have definitely expanded one, and they're mature. They're about to expand to three. Those are stuck where they are. These have grown. Very good. So we're definitely getting progress. And then at the end of this, we should get some super high potency seeds. Very cool. So let's see what's left in, what else is left here in the crop book. I don't know why I'm calling it a crop book, but let's check it out. Boom. Go back. We've got a couple more quests here. Green thumb. I can't do this one because a garden trowel requires a piece of iron. And I am nowhere near getting a piece of iron. I got some iron gear, but I doubt I can turn them back into ingots. So that's not a thing. Okay, so we can't do this one yet, but we, we might be able to do this one. You think you may have found a better way to produce some better materials. To get essence seeds, simply infuse wheat seeds with a bit of mana from the mana pool. Oh, okay. That's cool. Any monsters in here? Hello? Hello? All right, let's grab a pretty big... We'll grab this one. This one ha looks like a higher tier mana seed. Oh, look, my mushrooms grew! 
I'm so excited! <laughs> hey, let's put these in here. I heard a monster. Where are you at? Where you at, monster? Alright, let's go inside and we're gonna set up a little line of crappages, just like we did over on our farm. So boom, and boom, 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 boom. Yeah, we definitely want these to be high potency as well because, oh, do these need to grow on a certain thing? They do, they need garden soil. So never mind that, we're gonna dig this, up. we're gonna dig this old garbage up. And yeah, we'll plant this proper. I'm using an ax, there you go. Okay, where is our garden soil? I wonder if the garden soil looks any different. It definitely does. Now, do I have to till garden soil? I might have to till garden soil, so let's take a look. Does it, do you till? It does. It looks a little different. And you guys may have noticed I've switched to the Faithful Texture Pack. It's supposed to look exactly, well, not exactly. It's supposed to be a high definition version of vanilla Minecraft. So, yeah, I thought it would be a good mix here. I love the Faithful Feed the Beast texture pack. It just adds a little bit of depth to everything. A little bit of interest. Plus, it makes glass look really clear. Like, look how clear this glass is compared to other glasses. But, yeah. Anyway, I might, ha if I'm smart, I'll put a link to that in the description. We're just going to go ahead and plant these essence seeds. Should we? Yeah, let's, let's do this. They are 1 1 1, so they didn't take any of the traits of the wheat seeds that I put on them. And let's see here, where. Where did all. What happened to all that bone meal I had? I'm done. I, oh, I left it outside. Alright, we're gonna grab a bone. We're just gonna see if this is susceptible. Very good. Alright, cool. That'll get it on the fast track. And if I've harvested this. Oh, why'd I do that? I shouldn't have done that. We're actually trying to get stuff. So I got one essence. If we wanted to keep bone mailing it, we could get more. But unless there's a quest involved, I'm just going to let it do its thing here and continue down the path. So now that that's done, let's see what other crap we can do. So we got that and we need two more essence dust. I was just talking about this. All right, let's get some more of this essence dust. Um, how do I get? Boom, there we go. And we're going to get a mana pearl and four more essence seeds. Claim reward. That's cool. So we'll plant these somewhere. And we got another ender pearl, which is very helpful. I'm just going to stick it in this chest so I don't lose it or accidentally throw it, which I have been known to do. I'll just, I'll, I'll have an ender pearl. I'll finally be able to do something with it, and I'll just throw the dang thing. But anyway, we're going to do this. And these extra essence seeds we're going to put over here just so we can collect. Oh, this has to be garden soil. Alright, garden soil it up. Alright, one, two, three, four. And we got ten garden soil. Da, 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 da. And till that bad boy up. Croppage it. Crop, crop, crop. And there we go. Got the rest of our essence seeds planted. Eventually, we're going to get better essence seeds with this stuff, so we don't have to worry too much. Eventually, this stuff will probably be just turned into delicious compost. So, I don't know if I even need to worry about that. But there we go! That is done. Let's see if there's any more quests to be done without being extra grindy. So, we got something here called Natural Nuances. Let's check that one out. A number of useful plants are proving troublesome to obtain. You wonder if you could employ essence to create these, but a systematic means of doing so evades you. Maybe you might be able to do it by breeding crops. You'd think, right? Let's see, we're gonna get brown mushroom spores and a lily pad out of it. That, what, what an odd thing to get. A task where a player needs specific items, these do not need to be handed to them in the inventory. This seems like one of those things where I need to breed two different plants together and then when I look it up in any eye, it's going to crash my computer. So let's give, let's give that a try real quick. Let's get very quickly to the part where it crashes my computer. Nature seeds. The nature seed Ric Flair. All right, so on tilled garden soil, I'll get a nature seed if I put an essence crop and a sugarcane seed. Ah, okay, so if I put a bit of... I'm going to put a bit of sand here. 
I'm going to just borrow this one for now. And in the corner, I'm going to put another tilled garden thingamabopper. And we're just going to put one there now until we're ready. Actually, we're going to bone meal it up. We're going to do that. We're going to put that there. And in the middle, I'm going to do double crops. Double crops like that. But let's see here. Boop, boop, boop. All right, very good. Let's grab some sugarcane seeds out of here. What's, what's a good one? That looks like a good one. And we can get that breeding too. We can just go ahead and get it done. Boop, boop. Oops. I accidentally harvested it. I'm getting good at harvesting in this stuff. A little too good. There we go. So that is where it will go. I think this needs to be tilled, right? This needs to be tilled. So boop, boop. Let's double check that again. Nature seed, tilled garden soil. Cool. So that will eventually morph into a new plant there in the middle. So we got that going. These guys are doing well. This one is mature and should spread over here shortly. And this one is almost mature. Let's just go ahead and make you grow up. Grow up, little fella. Grow up, be big and strong. There you go. And that will spread down the line. So cool. This was kind of a crop heavy episode. So that's fine, but let's see if there's any other little things we could do. We're, we're nowhere near the nature seed yet, so we're just going to have to wait for that one. Anything yet? Hello? No? Okay. <laughs> let's see what else we can possibly do. We can't do that. We can't do whatever this one is until it's unlocked. So let's see if there's... Oh, wow. A lot of these are open now. Let's see here. What the world is made of. Open. Uh, infusion. Let's see here. We're going to need one mana pearl. So, and we'll get a pearl back and a four weak essences. Huh. Let's see if we can do that. I think we can do that. So we're getting along the thing. We're getting along the line of magical crops here. Ooh, it's nighttime. Let's take a quick sleep. And we'll knock out this quest toot sweet. Ah, what a lovely sleep I just had. I know I probably have enough mana to do this. Let's take a quick look around. No monsters. Very good. Boom. Mana pearl. What does the book say? Next thing we got to do is make a weak infusion stone. Manual. I got to figure out how to make one of those. I might not have enough essence to make it. Um, I have two whole essence on me. And this has spread, so we can collect that now. Um, this has spread. And this is essence seeds. This isn't the right thing. What are you doing? Make with the crops. You're supposed to crossbreed. All right, we're going to take that. That gives us four. Um, I think we're going to need a little bit more bone meal. Man, we're going to run out of bone meal pretty quick here if we don't watch ourselves. But we're going to do this real quick. That wolf, he needs to shut up. Shut up! We get it! You're a wolf! Why did you have to do it twice in a row? What a jerk. Alright, let's get this grown again. And... Let's try... Shut up! We get it, dude! Why does it have to, like, go on and on? Okay, options, music... It's just like I gotta do this. Whenever there's a wolf around, you just gotta do that. Clicked. Alright, how much we got? I think we're going to need eight. So let's grab that last little piece there. We'll let, leave that be. I think to get an infused thing, you just do this. There we go. Weak infusion stone, guys. We did it. Alright. Hopefully that's it. Nope, we got to make a weak essence. Ah, okay. Do we want to use up the last little bit here? We need four essence in order to make this. And I'm going through my bone meal pretty darn quick. Let's just do it. Let's get it over with. No time like the present. Doot, doot, doot. And that should be it, right? Because then I take this, I stick it in here, do that to it, and we get one weak essence. Hopefully it just requires the one. And we got it. Very cool. Rewards. Um, we get weak essence and we get an ender pearl. And we get to pick one. Ooh, skeleton seed souls. Or I can get 16 more weak essence. That's garbage. Skeleton seed skulls, please. 
Very good. So we got our Ender Pearl back, which is a bonus. We got some weak essence, and we got something called Skeleton Ske Seed Skulls, which sounds amazing. I'm going to start a line of crops for them for sure. We're going to start them way down here, and we're going to crop them up. So this is going to be officially the crop episode of this of this season. Jeez. Oh, what does it need to be on? Ooh, what do you need to be planted on? I wonder. Does it need to be garden soil? I bet you it does. Let's see here. Garden soil. That makes sense, right? All the magical crops need amazing magical garden soil. So let's try. Oh, it probably needs to be tilled. Shoop. And poop. Yep, there we go. All right, so we're going to have to redo all these anyway. But anyway, guys, you get the idea. We're growing crops like crazy, and they're doing great. Um, eventually, let's go check out the other crops before we leave real quick. Hopefully, there's not a big bad wolf around here. Not that I would hear him if there was. And yeah, these are doing well, too. They're definitely going down the line. The sugar cane has gone insane because it was the higher speed of the crops, I do believe. And the better these crops get, the faster they'll go down the line. So that's interesting. We'll, we'll, we'll definitely keep an eye on this and we'll get the rest of these planted. So guys, as always, I want to thank you all for watching very much. If you enjoyed the episode, consider giving it a big old like. And until next time, guys, we'll see you all real soon. Bye.